Hey, what's up everyone? This is Dolaris again. I'll bring you a build video right now. Well, actually a correction of the build video that I have uh, uploaded yesterday plus a targeted loot for today. So let's get started with our targeted loot. As usual, New York. We have Sniper, Fenris, uh, Providence, and Group of Sombra. DNH for the tombs, stranded tanker, gear system mods, pathway park has gear sets, Wall Street has pistols, Liberty Island light machine guns. Alright, Dark Zone West, Wyvern, Badger Tough for Dark Zone East, Dark Zone South has Alps. Alright. So we have our general areas, Badger Tough, um, Body Armor, Knee Pads, 511, Shotguns, Masks, Murakami, Skill Attachment Mods, RK, Assault Rifle, Seska. Marksman Rifle for Camp White Oak, Petrov, Coney Island Ballpark. Skill attachments for amusement park. Stronghold uh, is Stronghold. Manning National Zoo has Overlord. DARPA has Holster. And Pentagon has Holster as well. Federal Emergency Bunker, Gila. Bank Headquarters, China Light. Gloves, Potomac Event Center. DCD has Hannah Yu. Seska. Or Lincoln Memorial. American History Museum has Murakami. A backpack for Grand Washington Hotel. Eraldi for Jefferson Trade Center. SMG for Viewpoint Museum. Rifles for um, Air and Space Museum. Walker and Harris for Jefferson Plaza. Hannah Yu for Space Admin HQ. For our strongholds. Uh, Dis um, District Union. Petrov. Roosevelt Island, Golan, Capitol Building, Body Armor, and Sokolov for Tidal Basin. Alright, so we got that out of the way. So I do apologize for the build video yesterday. I was so nervous because it was my first time and I have uh, missed uh, some things on that. It's not actually 70%. Um, additional weapon damage when uh, you get the um, unstoppable force buff on max stack alright but uh, one of the thing that I forgot to mention is the specialization alright so the specialization that we're using for this build is uh, the gunner alright uh, for the reason of having where is that uh, this one Armor kits repair 100% armor and grants 30% bonus armor for 10 seconds. That's one. And every third reload 50% faster. This is really good because we are using an LMG. As we, as we uh, all know, LMGs reload really, really slow. But every third reload is 50% faster. So it will help us r a lot. Okay. And this is what I am actually uh, looking forward for when it comes to this uh, build is the armor that you get every kills. So every kills grants us 10% armor. Anything else is good. Uh, I'm not using the Banshee, but it might work. But the right foam really uh, is useful when you're handling the big guys alright the bosses and whatnot mostly the the tanks as I call it the one with the Gatling gun uh, grenade launcher the flamethrower just you ride phone them and just lay it, lay it out um, on them with the, the machine gun or light machine gun that we're using of course we need to get the large pouch 50 ammo capacity additional Alright, of course, LMG, Assault Rifle, SMG, whatever you want uh, from there. Uh, but 
make sure that you get the LMG increased damage from this one. Alright. Next, we need to actually go to the target range. Make sure that this is on heroic. Alright, good. So, before I shoot these guys, let me pull up the build again. First, we are using Carnage. Almost God roll. Uh, I rolled critical hit chance yesterday so that we can get uh, 56 point five I would really love this to be 60 but it doesn't actually um, matter for me that much since it's only four percent but I know it's still a uh, four percent or three point five percent but yep um, we have 118 crit damage headshot 72 all right carnage 12% LMG damage, DTC 12% maxed, and I rolled uh, a crit chance maxed. Perfect Sadist, we will get 25% weapon damage to bleeding enemies. A after 3 kills, applies bleed to the next tar target or next enemy you hit. Alright, my secondary is uh, Police M4 with Sadist. It's only 20% and 4 kills. Uh, sidearm, I'm just using the Liberty because why not? Alright. So let's go to the ongoing directive uh, gear sets first. So I have the mask. 10%, 10%, 10%. I have the gloves. 13.5, 12%. The knee pads, 14.4 uh, 14 max crit damage. And lastly, the vest or the body armor. Alright, so this is one of my errors yesterday. So remember I mentioned that it will give us 20% uh, weapon damage on uh, bleeding enemies. Yeah, that's true. However, I forgot that the body armor has um, a talent. Uh, for ongoing directive which is parabellum rounds it increases the hollow point ammo weapon damage amplification to 35% instead of 20 alright so uh, we'll add that later let me show you the rest of the build I'm using um, god roll seska for 10% crit chance max weapon damage max uh, crit damage max crit chance and then I'm using my God Roll um, Petrov backpack, which has unstoppable force. Max weapon damage, max crit, max uh, uh, crit damage, max crit chance, another max crit damage for the mod. All right, unstoppable force. Killing an enemy increases the total weapon damage by five percent for fifteen seconds, and it stacks up to five times. Alright, so we already have all the pieces here. Okay, so let's add up the weapon damage. So it says on the backpack, it stacks up to 5 times. So that's a total of 25% weapon damage additional. And on this one, instead of 20, we'll get a 35 Alright, so that's already 60% uh, weapon damage. Now if we go here, it will add 25% more weapon damage if we are hitting the bleeding enemies. So that's a total of 85%. So that's 15% higher compared to the video that I uploaded yesterday. That's my error. I didn't look at it very carefully because I was really nervous. I was I, I just uh, realized it when uh, I already have the video uploaded. So this is just a correction video for the build yesterday. Again, I'm using um, the Seeker Mine so that we can get uh, bleed status effect if we don't have the hollow point ammo yet. But uh, upon testing, 
I actually prefer the hive with uh, the stinger. The reason behind that is the targeting of the mines is really, really bad. So if you are trying to hit, uh, what do you call this, uh, an elite with the seeker mine, they will dodge, they will roll outside of the um, area of effect, effect of the mine and they will not be bleeded. Alright, so that's why I prefer the stinger hive this time. The reason behind that is because, uh, because they cannot dodge the stinger hive. Right, once the um, stingers has been released, they won't be able to dodge it, and they will 100% surely be bleeded out. Okay, in that way, we'll be able to get our 25% weapon damage from there, and if we kill five enemies, we'll get another 25 from uh, unstoppable force. And then, if we have hollow point, I'm pretty sure that we should have hollow point if we are killing a lot of uh, things which will give us another 35 all right so in total we'll have 85 uh, percent weapon damage that is more than uh, the glass cannon build that um, the others have okay but uh, this build is very situational all right and i don't recommend it on uh pvp acti activities because it's it, it's really hard to get a hollow point ammo from there um, the other skill that I'm using is the drone. The reason behind is the drone is just really annoying, right? So if you just uh, let it loose, uh, the enemies will focus this, and in that way you'll have uh, time to kill them while they are shooting your drone. Uh, I'm not sure where my mod are for this. So for this one, I go health. Um. Uh, I don't have anything here. Damage. Okay. So this is my build for now. As you can see here, I have lots of uh, builds that I'm trying out. I just recently um, updated my uh, Armor Shredder build. Alright. Um, maybe if you're interested, um, leave a comment uh, in the comment section. So I'll go ahead and uh, put it up there as well so that you'll see my build for that. But I'm pretty sure you guys already know it. But just let me know. Okay, so time to test the damage. So as you can see on the bottom part, we don't have uh, the buff for hollow point. We don't have the unstoppable force buff as well. So we are hitting 207. Wait, let me change this first so it won't die. Alright, so... Invulnerable Elite. Alright, again. 207. Okay, so let's get a stack of... That. Oh, no, no, no. Let's use this instead first. So we'll use this. So it will attack that. So that one is bleeding now. 272. So that's um, 70k additional damage, more or less. See? Uh, okay. So that's that. We'll get this again. Let's get the hollow point from these guys. Alright, we have hollow point now and one stack of uh, unstoppable force. Let's uh, wait for the unstoppable, unstoppable force buff to uh, be removed on our buffs. Alright, so we have hollow point now. 279 and it, now they're bleeding 249 so from uh, 207 then up to 279 because of the unstoppable uh, the what they call this the hollow point ammo 
and once they are bleeding we get 249 so that's a lot of damage already all right but what if if we have one two three four All right, max unstoppable force. 249, 437 uh, K damage per bullet. So if we just lay it out, lay it out, we're dealing so much damage to this guy. All right, so let's try and test it out in a heroic mission. All right, let's try to grab some bullets. Alright, come with me to Lincoln Memorial. Alright, again guys, um I I created not I'm I'm not actually the original creator of this build, but I saw the build from uh, a YouTuber and I have uh, tweaked it out a little bit. So all credit goes to him. I'm not sure what's his name, but again, we're on heroic, and let's test it out. I'll pop my drone to annoy them. Oh shit! There, get one kill. One. Look how fast we melt this guy. We don't have to reload as often because we have an LMG. Why do we have this gun? And it's pretty accurate as well. Oh, oh we're going to die. Someone's behind us. Anyways, let's try that again. Why are you guys there? On. Oh! Did, did you just pick me? Alright. Let me throw this there. And we'll get the additional damage. Let's pop this up. Get this. Pick it up. Kill this. Down. This one. We'll get an armor from that. Got a visual All right. additional hostiles in the memorial compound. They're moving south. There's a gate between you. So I'll just finish we'll this section and we'll go back to, we to find the White to House. Gate. I'm just trying to prove a point that this build is really good. Alright, let's just throw it there. Pop this, that. Look how fast we melt that um, elite. It's really accurate as well, however, you need to mind the recoil because the recoil is really hard on this one. So, there you have it, guys. Uh, this is again uh, my bleed LMG build. Alright, so again, we are using Carnage. 
the police M4 with sadist. Four piece ongoing directive. Mask, armor, gloves, and uh, knee pads. Seska and Petrov. Our skills Stinger Hive and Assault Drone, just to annoy me. Right, maybe you can change this to a uh, decoy. It's really up to you. But that's it for me, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't forget anything. Okay, but uh, if you like the video, please leave a like down below. Again, if you have any suggestions or if you uh, want me to do uh, something else, please leave a comment and uh, subscribe. If you are not yet subscribed, I appreciate it a lot. And again, this is Olaris. Gamers, remember, you don't die, you respawn. Peace out.